room of have your own place to stay and don't pay rent, pay a bond, something that belongs to you. So they, they financed my bond 100%, including transfer fees. Oh, nice. So the, the whole bond and transfer fees and everything was 100% um, financed. And to me, it was like, wow. I can actually buy something without even putting five rand in it. it. Made me want a building. I got irritated by levies. I didn't know why I have to pay these levies. <laughs> I didn't understand why I should pay levies. And yeah. there were a lot of problems. This, that is not happening. Body corporate, it felt like I bought a property, but I was still being controlled by body corporate. I, I ask myself questions. Who has the bond? Is the bond mine or that of a body corporate? I, I, I was really agitated by the idea that my property that I say is mine, I cannot do much with it unless I ask someone else about it. And the whole point is to make returns in property, not to just have a property and have a lot of things that are just as are blinding you. And that's the journey. That's the, what actually took me to, to look for a building. I looked for a building. Um, you know, for viewers at home who probably don't know uh, what TAF is, they've probably never heard of TAF. Uh, perhaps if you could just, you know, share a little bit about what TAF does and how they played quite an important role in, in your journey. TAF is, 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 um, is a home loan or building. I mean, buildings finance, yeah, but then they specifically focused on the urban development zone. They do not finance out of the urban development zone, which is mainly your central business district. But if you don't know what your urban development zone is, you can just go and find out. If, you're, if the building you're looking for is within that uh, area, within the urban development zone, they, their main focus is to revitalize the CBD. Because, I mean, they've seen a lot of potential there of, 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 of income streams, especially in, 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 in the residential and commercial space. And I've seen it too with my own building because, and it, it in, in Bloemfontein, in the TAF portfolio in Bloemfontein, my, my building specifically is doing well because it, it's correctly positioned and it, it, it has tenants that are paying very, very, very well. Do you understand? So they saw their gap in there and they finance anyone with a credible, obviously credit record. You must have a credible credit record and everything of yours should be in order and you have you must have some sort of uh, equity that you can meet them halfway with so yeah that's what TAF does basically there is nothing more challenging in a building than not knowing the things that make it successful um when i came on from a student accommodation and a commune that worked well because there were a few tenants now here I come, I come into a building, number one. Number two, I, was, I met something called construction. I've never, and, and at the time when I got, uh, because what, what, what TAF does, it doesn't just finance the building, it finances the building and it gives money for re renovations as well. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a holistic uh, uh, finance. So there I am. I'm faced with having to manage construction. And I knew nothing about the construction world. All I knew was how to maintain a few things, how mm. to just do A, B, and C a little bit. I mean, have people that can fix A, B, and C. But now I was faced with construction, turning everything. I mean, I had to have a proper pro project. Mm. And, a, and it was pro, it was a project it was a project that needed a project manager. 
But to be honest, I met the, the worst challenges in the construction space. And to an extent that I was taken for a ride and robbed of uh, all my renovation money before the renovations were even halfway complete. And when that challenge came, it just went boom, right in your face. You have a big bond to pay, but within this big bond, there, there is also construction that is not still complete. And for that to, to, and those things now are running simultaneously, you don't have the funds anymore to continue the renovation. And the next minute, you also have a, the three months grace period that you are given is over. You have to now pay a bond. Those are the challenges that you need to look at with, with, with clear caution. Construction is the most, it's very, very, very important for you to know the basics, to know exactly what is needed and to be there and to be proactive. Otherwise, it can set you back to over a million. That is one, that is number one. Number two, the, the, the most important, the, the actual, the backbone of, 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 of property itself is the property management. Mm. That is not done well. You might as well have bought a, a dummy, a tree, because property management is actually the cash flow of the business. It, 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 it's the functionality of business. It, it, the, the, it makes the business go. And, and, and those were the two areas that, that were a challenge until I, I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to start uh, teaching myself actively how to manage properties. And that is where I started building my own portfolio. Mm -hmm. So that I know exactly what is what happens in the property management space, what is important, what what needs to be done, what needs to 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 can happen because that is everything in a property investment. Mm 